Now, while the government is busy introducing its new nutrition guide in schools, the opposition spoke, spokesman on education, Ronald Thwaites, says some students are still dying of, un of hunger. Mr. Thwaites also argued that there have been no increases in the school feeding program, which has left administration struggling to provide for some students. TVJ Shamela Pullen reports. According to the opposition spokesman on education, Ronald Thwaites, Despite efforts by the Education Ministry, three quarters of students continue to experience hunger while at school. Mr. Thwaites says the situation could get worse. No one can refute that 30% and more of our children come to school hungry every day. We are informed that Nutrition Products Limited, which with much fanfare has uh, stopped producing bag juice and bullas, has closed down their plants in St. Mary and in Westmoreland, and there is only very limited production at the Marcus Garvey plant. So we ask the question, what is the alternative? Mr. Thwaites says the little some students eat in the mornings is not enough to sustain them through the day. He says they need at least two meals with adequate nutrition if they are to learn. Our information is that most schools have received no increased subvention, no money that they can provide breakfast and lunch on their own. We are proud that our party leader, uh, part of his, his, his covenant with the Jamaican people, has assured that there will be one substantial meal at least to all of our students under PNP administration. But the fact is that many students require two meals if they are going to perform adequately in school. He also calls for an increase in the allocation to needed students through the PATH program. School nutrition is a serious issue for the Jamaican educational enterprise, which is not being dealt with adequately. In fact, we are going backwards, not forward. Yes. We have information, by the way, that some schools are reporting that the increased costs of food have forced them to increase the cost of school provided lunches. And to that, to that extent, that would be a, a, a very serious a burden upon, upon parents. Shamela Pullen, TVJ News.